What's up, y'all? Uh, today I'm going to be hitting a couple thrift stores, do a quick video about what I find, if I find anything. Um, stay tuned. All right, just finished at the first stop and kind of a bust. There's a couple items I was about to get, but I don't know enough about them. And they seemed like they would probably sit a while. One of those was this old Panasonic Betamax player. And the comps looked good. It's going for like 150 bucks and around that price range, it was only $10. Um, but I don't have any Betamax videos to test it with and my uh, history with getting receivers and things like that is I get them with the intention of selling them and then they just end up taking too much time to test and stuff since I only do this part time I try to stay away from that um, the other thing was this bat which I've you know seen a lot of other flippers flipping uh, baseball bats um, but the only problem with this one was it was super banged up I don't think there was much I could do to clean it up, so I don't know if it would sell. Um, but let's go on to the next one and see what we can find. Stop two is good, y'all. I'm pretty stoked on this one. I have a couple really, really good finds. Can't wait to show y'all. So I'm gonna get back to the house and I'll bust these things out. First up, we have this Yes Sea Groove uh, putter. It is kind of priced high for a thrift store, $19.99. Um, this should bring $50 or more. Um, I think I can list this a little high. Another putter. <laughs> um, these got put out today, so I just got lucky with my timing. Uh, this is a Cleveland uh, VP5 putter and a nice big grip. Also kind of a lot of grip wear, but this one's in a little bit better shape. This one was only $10 and these are going for 60 around that, so this is another good one. Next up, we have this. This is what caught my eye at the thrift store. If a golf club looks nice, it probably is, um, especially if you recognize the name. So this one is a Callaway. See that little V? That's the Callaway Signature GBB Epic driver, and it's Pretty well worn. The grip is also pretty, pretty gnarly. So you can see that. Um, so these go for around 100. We'll see if I can get that. As I was checking out with those, the employee was like, "Yeah, these are some nice clubs." Um, and talking with me about how he had a bunch more to put out. Behind him, I saw a cart full of clubs. And these two were sitting there. These are RBZ. Uh, Taylor made RBZ uh, three and four woods. These should bring about 50 bucks each. They're pretty well worn too, but the grips are in a little better shape than the other ones. And then lastly, this was kind of the coolest part. I got this awesome SKB pedal board. And the only reason why I can think that this didn't get out the door yet is because people didn't know what it was. Even me, I, I didn't figure out how to open it up until messing with it for a minute. Opened it up and saw that it was a pedal board and I should have no problem selling this locally for $100 or more. So, all together, I did spend a lot at the thrift store. Each of these are like anywhere from like 10 to $15 a club. All right, y'all, that's it for this video. Just a quick haul video. If you liked uh, this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, like and comment, let me know what you think. If you want to see a new type of video, um, if you have ideas, stuff you don't like, put it all in the comments down below. But thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next one.